Hey guys, I'm Jan, on occasion, and today uh, the rifts have opened once more, and uh, we'll need to close some of those. Uh, also, travel to um, Sex Hell. <laughs> That's what it's called now. That's what I've decided. The Realm of Slanesh is called Sex Hell now. That's where we're going. And uh, yeah, also, um, Poxmakers and Nurgle need a smackdown. Uh, we did just kill Kugath, of course, but Sylvester Govich is not done yet. No, he's not. He is really the smiter of um, of disease. That, seems, that sounds a bit boring, smiter of disease, doesn't it? I don't know. He's um, I'm sure there's some pun to do with with the cold of Kislev. These guys have a cold. I don't know. You know what? There's the pieces of a joke, and I'll just let you guys make them yourself. Yeah, brilliant. Let's fight the people. Alright. Here we are. In a place. This looks great, doesn't it? This looks really good. You know, this is, I think, a new terrain type. Because of course, you all recognize this map, I'm sure. This is one of the classic island maps, but with this much snow? Um, it's like glacial, and I don't think I've ever seen this map as like a glacial version of it. And you've got little Norskan, you know, bits attached. Yeah, I've never seen a glacial version of this. It might just be, it might just be me, you know, being an idiot. It could just be that like snowy climates just look a bit different, so it just doesn't quite have that familiarity. But anyway, pretty cool. That wasn't a joke, but. It'll suffice. Anyway, you guys uh, can hang out there. And we have all of our Cossars that are really squidged in weird places right now. Like, why? Why <laughs> Why do this? And it looks like it looks like all the bear cab are really just trying to push them against this invisible wall. It's very strange. I don't know what you guys are playing at. Just don't, don't do that, okay? And look at this. Ah, oh, bear squadron. I love, I love having a bear squad. Also, uh, sitting side saddle on a bear is <laughs> it's just wild. I love it. <laughs> so they're like, side saddle on a bear is difficult because you basically got your entire, like your, your legs are basically straight. Because the bear is so like wide. It's got such like a large top to it, you know? It's not like a horse where you're like, you side saddle, but your legs are still going down. No, just basically just lying on a bear. That's what she's doing. She just sat up while lying down on a bear. It's not even side saddle. She is lying down. I honestly have no idea how she's doing it. It's elegant, but um, shouldn't be. <laughs> so this is a problem. These guys coming in, potentially. Those trees are going to be a pain, but I really do need to use the high ground. Although I might be able to get onto this slope, I just doubt it. I just doubt it. Even as slow as they are, we do have further to travel to get there. So I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. Also, how lovely is this tree? I love these little wooded areas. These little details. This is sometimes like a ruin or like, there's a bunch of other things. Sometimes. So yeah, hi. Hi, Plague Toads. Hello, Plague Toads. God, they look amazing. Horrible, but amazing. Just the fact that their like jaws go back Pretty much the entire body, like their mouth is their entire body, it just unhinges. It's it's so disgusting. Is that a spirit leech? Did they spirit leech me? I think I got spirit leeched. How rude! And there are more plague toads, a lot, and pox riders. Oh god! No, that was incorrect. That's who I was grabbing. Also, god, units are so slow to react these days. It's very strange. Really, really quite bizarre. Uh, so I need you guys to move a little bit more, actually. And you guys are somehow getting caught by these bears. Seriously, what is wrong with you people? God, seriously, these are like the slowest creatures. <laughs> Still, far too fast for us. Alright. We're gonna go get them. Come here, you. Alright, I'm gonna go mess them up. You can turn around. Uh, this is four units, though the one with the standard is uh, stuck in there, which is very confusing. Okay, you're gonna have to shimmy over as well. 
And yeah, we'll be fine over here, probably. Just just kill kill the things. Kill kill the things. Oh you guys are getting some shots in. Alright, you can shimmy a bit. We'll have you shimmy back around in a second. Uh, we're gonna charge you now, I've decided. Because I need you to die quicker. And the charge should hopefully do it. Excellent. Sure did. It sure did. Alright, keep moving. I know you guys are kind of tripping over each other a bit, but... They're yeah, doing okay. Good. Alright, you guys can chill. How are you guys doing now? Pretty well. Pretty well. So, we are going to need to use uh, Biting Wind, I think. Or, oh, actually... I think we are just going to hit them with a... Uh, with Hailstorm. I think that's probably better. That'll do. Yeah, you guys should hopefully be okay. Oh, is that? Oh, those are Cossars. Oh, okay. We don't necessarily want them to be fighting. That might be a bit much. And, um... This, I guess we'll just keep trying to kill these things. It's fine. Oops. You're gonna, you're gonna get in there with... Oh, yeah. Good. I right, hit with the ice as well. Now we can use the Hawks of Mixer. Miska, Mishka, I don't know, something. I feel like the spelling of this changes quite a lot, because it's the Hawks of Mish, uh, Miska. But it's actually uh, Miksa, I think, in army books. So like the, just that word seems to change, uh, depending on the context, which is bizarre. I don't know which one is a typo, which, uh, you know, it's frustrating. It's frustrating. Okay, Patriarch is having some... Troubles. Bless him. He's trying, he's trying. Uh, where, where are you? There you are. Good. Uh, let's use the... Uh, that is... Oh, scroll leeching. Perfect. No more spells for you. No more spells for you. Let's hit them again. Our armored Cossars probably going to have some trouble, but... We have these other Cossars that can help out by shooting their enemies back. Go on. Pew, pew, pew. That was bad. That, you're bad at your job. Oh my god, make up your mind what you're going to shoot, guys. Alright, move forward. I guess they have some weird line of sight issues right now. Must be. Must be. No, no other... Yeah, no other... No other explanation for it, frankly. Okay, you're gonna be able to shoot now. Good. There we go. Much better. Much better. Yeah. Brilliant. Nailing it. Also, that cultist is... Absolutely wrecked. Yeah, that's a win. That's a win. Good job, guys. Good job. Nice. Nice. Nicely done, guys. Nicely done. I'm, I'm proud of these three. They make a great team. Jobs are good. And also got a brass cleaver. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Uh, that's actually very useful. I do I do like a brass cleaver. Just buffing melee attack like that. Jolly handy. So, let's... Um, I mean, I would like the replenishment, but I would also kind of like to get the money. Because we do need a lot of money, because we need to recruit a bunch of units and build a lot of buildings and all the things. So I don't think we actually need the replenishment just yet. We're going to suffer attrition, though, because corruption is so bad here now. Oh, that is so annoying. Ah oh, well, enemy killed in battle. Woodrick is dead, so is Ian. A short assailant. Confidence can take you by uh, take you surprisingly far when assaulting the enemy. And we've got a hedge wizard for winning a battle. Do you have a hedge wizard? You do have a hedge wizard. Good. And you have a bear. War bear. Uh, Hawks of Miska. Look at that too. All right. And the brass cleaver. The brass cleaver is said to be an artifact from another realm, ancient and terrible. It thirsts for blood. So, you know, brass being the chosen metal of corn. So, not a great thing to be wielding, but we're going to do it. And he's already got one. <laughs> he's already got one. Uh, so, alright, cool. That works for me. Um, let's see, what else? Militiaman? Knight Squire? Zargard? Unit reduction down. Ritual Enforcer, that's what we want. Corruption down. Gleaming Pendant, stupid, so we'll give him a Ritual Enforcer. Brilliant. 
That should hopefully help our allies out. Uh, now let's get Immortality for Sylvester Govich and Deadly Onslaught so we can really, really hit hard now. No other may and for you, buddy, let's get you uh, replenish. Oh, you know what? Cleanse Corruption. Let's go all in with Cleansing Corruption for a bit. I deserve a larger retinue. Uh, you don't deserve anything, Boy, shut up. So let's give this guy some weapons. Uh, glittering scales lowers melee attack, so we can lower melee attack of the enemy while buffing our own melee attack with the brass cleaver, which is fun. Um, Blood of the Motherland. Uh, Blood of the Motherland is actually pretty good. It's from melee defense and expert charge defense for nearby units. I like that quite a lot. Uh, let's give him that. Yeah, let's give him that. And... Yeah, that'll do, I suppose. Yeah, I think that'll do. Now, let's um, merge these, because I want better things. What do we get? Snowflake Pendant. Oh. Snowflake Pendant. Where's this Snowflake Pendant? Oh, down here. It's an arcane item, so it lowers miscast base chance. Um, so, yeah, miscast chance down for 25 seconds, but it puts up power recharge a bunch. That's quite good. I quite like that. Oh, well. You've got the scroll of leeching, so we can lower the enemy's ability to do magic. But let's up our own ability to do magic instead. Uh, also, I just realised you don't have any armour. I could have actually given her uh, some armour. But instead, I fused it together. Well, that's embarrassing. I kind of figured that everyone had armour. You don't even have a weapon. How ridiculous. Um, and a forbidden rod. Do we want a forbidden rod on Evelina Bibchuk? Probably not. I'm not sure we want her to hurt herself. But, I don't know. It'll do. So, uh, whoops. Where are you? Equipment gate. Uh, apparently a simple pendant in the shape of a snowflake. It constantly cha changes its form, adopting a new and unique shape each time. Never Pretty cool. Yield. Pretty cool. So, Kiel's live. Let's get you something. Uh, I mean, do we get the embassy? I want to make sure that we're getting everything that's going to get us, like, money, or, I don't know, whatever, honestly. Here we go. Eagle of Gerslev. Uh, Gerslev. Give me a trade quorum. To counter the buying power of the merchant guilds from the Empire of Marienburg, the Kislev, uh, Kislevians have founded their own quorums. So one thing I don't understand is they've got roads and caravans. Right? Here as well. So these are two additional building types. But the only settlements you can get to tier 5 are the main, like, the, the cities of Kislev. You know, the three major cities. But they have their own economic building. So where the hell can we build these two buildings? Because that's, I love that we have these, but where can we get them? So, is it, uh, I don't know, maybe maybe ancient forests, if we take over the Laurelorn Forest, would that work, maybe? Um, or, or is it that outside of Kislev, if you take what would be a major settlement, it's still four slots, but it's four slots that can go up to tier five. Is that the deal? That might be it. But from my test campaigns as Kislev, that's not something I've ever noticed. But it could just be because I expected them to be tier 5, so I didn't think anything of it. But that's definitely got me thinking. Because I feel like we can never get those buildings, which would be very it's weird. Arena. To have buildings in the building browser that were literally unattain like, <laughs> unattainable. That would be very strange. So, yeah. Interesting. Anyway, admin decision. Blood money. Uh, war and gold required to fight it. It is this which dominates oblast communities and provides the stark choice an admin must face. Should income be invested? to make all the community richer? Or should warriors be paid to fight and defend the motherland? So this gives him deadly onslaught, who cares? And this will give extra income from all buildings, which is important, for sure. But yeah, that's interesting though. Interesting choice, except it's not really, because you're never gonna use your ataman in the field. You're always gonna have him doing this, aren't you? Oh well. So, cautious of overextending the coffers, this ataman believes in saving to invest. So income from all buildings, plus 5%. Excellent. Big, big help. Uh, I say it's a big, big help. It's a it's a help. <laughs> It'll help. Oh, I'm not even getting a thousand from here yet. 
Very big and strong. Like bear. Need you big and strong. Like egg. Delicious egg. Now let's see. Should we get the Imperial Embassy? Built. Or do we build some other buildings? Just think. We, all the unique stuff. Like there's one more to get. Now we'll have two building slots left for other stuff. And I think that should be ice training fields. Because I want the extra hero capacity for Frost Maidens. And the extra recruit rank. Because this way we're going to be doing a bunch of recruiting. But then I need to choose between do I want the bear stuff or the... Uh, well, it's still bear stuff. It's just bear sleds rather than bear riders um, here. Because I, like, I like the idea of being able to get bear riders and sleds. Well, not bear riders, sorry. Artillery and sleds. Like, this gives us two very different sort of styles of unit from one building. Whereas I guess this is three different styles of unit from one building tree as well. So, I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to go with the Toolmaker, because that also gives additional income from all buildings. And extra recruit, local recruit rank plus two. Oh wow, okay, let's get that then, let's get the Toolmaker. So with that technology, we can get we can get seven recruitment slots. Together, we, serve we currently have two, we're going to get another one from tech, another two from that building, and another two from the commandment. Which is really quite astounding when you think about it. How oh, cool. So we're going to do that. And the realm of the sorcerer has been entered. Uh, seducers of Selenesh have used their own arcane means to bypass the maelstrom and enter Tinch's realm. Intent on claiming a demon prince's twisted soul. If they succeed, they will be one step closer to reaching the dying god before you. Time of besiege, huh? Could you stop? Could you stop? The siege, Ing. Nope, apparently not. <laughs> we got dwarfs. We got dwarfs, guys. We got dwarfs. And, uh, and, and ice guards. And a bunch of cavalry. Ludicrous amount of guns and things. I mean, yeah, they got some armor piercing here. You know, with the Marauder champions, but, I mean, the mammoths are probably the biggest weight that they have here in terms of, like, balance of power. And they're just gonna get completely porcupined up by, uh, by Cossars. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll just leave it. Uh, Oh, they aren't suffering attrition right now. Oh, I thought they'd be suffering attrition because of because of. No, we haven't done Erson. We did the other one. But does. Um. We got that for four more turns. Do I do Erson so they start suffering attrition? I mean, I can just run over there. Which is probably quite a good point. Oh, although we. I hate this is still a thing, because we got onto shore. It always makes you go to shore if you're next to it. But it uses movement from the next turn, which I just think is the dumbest thing. Absolutely hate it. They are one. The idea of having a debt. It doesn't tell you that you're going to have a debt, so it's just it's a really obnoxious mechanic. But I was hoping it'd been removed for Warhammer 3, because it, there's no explanation of it. But it does highlight how how important it is in this area that Cracker Drag have ports to move from. You know, it shows the dis the disadvantage you have so much. Because you would never just, like, embark and disembark in this kind of territory unless you absolutely have to. And then when you do, it's just such a cost to it. But it's a cost that the game doesn't even communicate very well, which makes it all the worse, honestly. So, uh, Gislev. Do we want to do the growth building again? I mean, this will make, um, buildings cheaper as well. Which isn't a bad idea. Let's get that. Let's get that built. We're actually... Blitzing through growth right now. So, let's take this down. Uh, we will want to travel. Although, I don't know which one we'll be traveling through. Maybe that one, actually. It is if I close all of the ones in our own territory and then jump in that one, and, you know, they've closed it, then that's, yeah, I'll have to run across the map just desperately trying to find a rift. Um, but yeah, we're going to close it. We're going to close it. Uh, so, decisive victory, low casualties. Fine. We'll just deal with that. Bye, Corn. Bye. Uh, so, let's go with Seliac Pervades. So, wow. Kitty. Be careful, Kitty. So, yeah, I'm going to go with 14% uh, casualty replacement rate. Now, could I have done this last turn? Yes, absolutely. Why didn't I? Totally forgot. 
Uh, so that is under siege still, I know. I think if they attack, we'll no, be fine, though. Refuse. It's just the fact that we're going to be suffering attrition, which I don't like. So, Yechic. No, I clicked on the thing. Yes, Yechic. Upgrade that, please. And yeah, you can head down there. It'll take a while, but you can do it. Um, I'm amazed. I'm amazed this game and still haven't taken it out. There's something attrition sat there, though, which I find very funny. And, uh, yeah, they're doing very badly in Krakadorden. Krakadrak sucks. If we run down here, right, I bet you we'll run down here and they'll immediately get attacked. <laughs> I bet you. Uh, okay, well, we're done. Unassigned skill points, huh? Oh, Zarina Katarin. Has some levels. Uh, oh, Crystal Sanctuary will level up again. Then I think we'll do best in court, because I want my Ice Guard to be as good as they A can gift be. From great gods. And for you, uh, Wild-Eyed. Yeah, let's get it more offensive. Defy good. Chaos. Okay, good. Let's crack on. An ambusher was discovered. I mean, does that matter? No. Oh my god. Friggin Bloodthirst is running around, being jerks. It's just, ba it's bad news. Uh, gain a substantial income. At the end of your turn, have an income of at least 6,000. That's going to be a while. That's going to be a while. Great wealth leads to great power. Leverage the tools at your disposal to gain a substantial income from building trade and other resources. I can try. I can try. Just, just, you know, give me a minute. Uh, alright, you head over here. We're going to take, uh, Shiok Trekken on the way. There's a bunch more of these guys pouring in. I imagine if we take Shock Track and they're suddenly going to change their mind, though. Which works for me. So you're done with that. And, I mean, now we can actually recruit all of those, um... Excuse me, all of those, uh, Ice Guards. And I didn't actually change the recruitment thing, which I should have done. That was silly. Now I can only get three when I could have got five. Couldn't quite actually maybe I could have afforded five if I went all with swords. Yeah, yeah, totally could have done. Well that's very upsetting, especially because it can take two turns. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna save a turn by queuing up another couple with glaives. I also do want some war sleds to be fair. But um I don't know how many turns do war sleds take? One turn? So we've got up plenty of slots while the other two are finishing up. So yeah, we can we can get a couple of sleds to finish this army off. I think that'd be really fun. War sleds are great. Even the light ones are really good. The heavy ones are literally, like, identical. They're just a bit slower and have more armor. But all the other stats are the same. So, um, yeah. Very, very similar. Which I like. It's just, it's just a very simple upgrade. But works for me. Um, okay. That'll have to do. He's gonna have to sit tight. My pokes are at your service. Hey, buddy. Military access? I mean, they wouldn't pay me. You think maybe you could pay me more? Nope. Less. <laughs> That's good to know, though. That's good to know that sometimes they offer you more than they usually would. Because they round it up. Or down. It's interesting. So the land of the Plague Lord has been entered by the Oracles of Zinch. Um, so Goldtooth have actually gone to Slaanesh's realm. And actually, I did say we'd go to Slaanesh's realm first, but that's a bit of a weird one because that doesn't vary much in the speed it takes to accomplish it. Um, so I don't know. We might have to just abandon that idea because we are trying to get our army in order first, which is a bit of a problem, I, I know. No Alright, let's get a couple of those. We serve the motherland. Yep, done. It'll be a hell of an army. So, uh, somehow avoiding the maelstrom using Forgotten Lord, a gold tooth has entered Slaanesh's realm and will attempt to kill the Demon Prince's soul. Should they be successful, then the Dying God could be within their grasp. Sure they really could, and improved lookouts, which gave us the extra recruitment capacity. Better telescopic aids provided by astromancers of the Empire allow those stationed in Prague's northern watchtowers to issue an earlier warning should Chaos Invaders return. Is pretty handy. Uh, I would quite like to get... Dar's Cult Customs. Because that'll improve, uh... Yeah, increases the income from all buildings and trade. And adds the Land Awakened Army ability. Which sounds cool. Does sound fun. Ooh! A Blast Scavenger. Extra chance of stealing magic items. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, definitely, definitely want to get that next. Yeah. And 
upgrade to Streltsy would be good when we have Streltsy, but we don't. We so stand we won't. Chaos. Uh, all right, Sylvester Gujevich. This is my right. All right, let's take it out. You're a pretender. Mammoth boat. Hello there. Hello. Uh, do we fight this? I don't think we really need to, if I'm being honest. Let's we just water us up. It would have been nice to see the, um... Because, yeah, this would have been interesting to see, like, a dwarf settlement. Actually. But hopefully, we'll be defending Another it in a second. And we have a port. That's the useful thing. We have a port. So, let's, um... Oh, I don't know. We could get Guardian cool. So we could start summoning... You know, I think I think we need to level this up more. We can get Arcade Conduit next turn. Then we'll start getting summonable um, kitty cats. Come, kitty cat. Fight for me. Uh, Prague. We can uh, upgrade the garrison if we want. But I think I might... Yeah, we've still got plenty of turns, actually. Oh, no. It's because corruption's going up. Growth is going to be ruined. Ah, we need to close that. No. Growth doesn't matter so much over here, though. I don't think any of the demon armies that could spawn could actually fight our garrisons. I think our garrisons could win out quite happily. So I think uh, Zaldina get that it is going to head north after this. We'll have to ignore this one. I know, it's annoying. Like, this is going to get real corrupt real soon, but it denied. is what it is. Denied. Well, don't be denied. Yeah, the attrition we're taking is annoying. That is very annoying. Hope they'll attack soon. I mean, if they don't, we're obviously going to send... Uh, Sylvester Gleevich south to handle him. So, we should be okay. Alright, moving on. Know that I can freeze your blood with but a thought. Hello, Kostielton. No, no agreements. No, you crossed me for the last time, Kostielton. I know your game. Ruinous Infiltration. The unthinkable has occurred. We have uncovered a chaos cult in the very heart of the motherland. The blasphemers were summarily, summarily executed. But we must take drastic action to prevent such an infection occurring again. Uh, rationality. Or we go dogma. So, um, extra leadership, find demons. I don't really care about that. And, uh, yeah, let's go with this one. The other kingdoms do not realize how close doom is to their doors. We must send our most gifted orators to make these pampered fools understand. Once they do, they will surely aid our cores. There we go. Creator. It's not enough to create something beautiful. To truly leave our mark, we must build to last through the ages. And one more turn, and we'll have an amazing full stack. With uh, pretty good, pretty good ranks, all at rank four, you know. Pretty great. Not so much for the war sleds, but still. Uh, Igorov? Should we do Igorov? Or, uh, oh, Volskred. If there's going to be a rebellion, it'll be there, you know. Okay, and I'll oh, scave it back, of course they are. Oh, please hold out, Crackerjack. I mean, they got an army, and somehow, somehow, Crackerdorden lasted. I mean, it's so knackered. What happened? I think Corson may have attacked the Skaven. <laughs> yeah, I think this guy might have attacked the Skaven. That's such a corn thing to do. You know, see a bunch of people having a fight, and then fight all of them. Pretty classic. So yeah, we're going to go down here. Uh, I'm going to do March Stance. If they attack me, and I'm in March Stance, so be it. I don't really care. That's fine. Also, are they suffering attrition right now? They're not replenishing, but I feel like they had... more Marauder Champions a second ago. So how come... They now don't have more Marauder Champions. That's very strange. Yeah, I'm really not sure what's gone on there. Do not engage. That's very odd. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure. I feel like they've disbanded some units. I really have no idea what's going on there. That's fine. Whatever. I'll uh, I'll leave them to it. Lord of all. So, Zarina, Ketrin has one more turn. I guess that's doing great. We're doing great. Kingdom welcomes all its allies. A defensive alliance with Nordland. Yeah, let's do it. Ambush are discovered. Always. Another ambush are discovered. Okay, Saal seem to be really up for ambushing. 
Um, other Skaven got chased away. Armies are summoning. Not over here, though, strangely. How are you guys doing? You know what? There's no corruption here because we have so many Orthodoxy churches in this area that it's just keeping the corruption down. It's just not growing at all. That's really funny. I love it. Uh, okay, so let's start upgrading things like this trade quorum. Uh, to counter the buying power of the merchant guilds in the Empire of Marienburg, the Kislevians. Kislevians. I find it weird that there's Kislevians where it's Kislevites like every other time. Very bizarre. I don't know if Kislevians is correct, if it's like a typo, or if it's just like there's some kind of regional thing, or some specific context. I really have no idea. Um, the Kislevians are found of their own cordoms. Very strange. They suddenly Not use that. But anyway. Uh, oh, yeah, a little corn corruption. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's in this region. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, well. Do not tarry. Get over here. None but yeah, demons everywhere. Bloody demons. Demoning up the place. I just realized we're getting plus 20% income whenever Zarina is in the province. That's really great. I also love that when you enter a province now, it just tells you what the effects are. It's really good. Really nice. It doesn't just list every effect they do, it's just the ones that are relevant. So if it's like extra income, it doesn't trigger if you're in, you know, enemy territory, but... Yeah, that sounds really cool. So, Shock Draken, uh, we are going to give to Rackendrack. Trade settlements. Should we give it to them straight away? Probably not. But, I want money. Hooray. We now have money. I like money. Money, 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 money. Uh, Alright, spec. Uh, the Pooksy. Let's get a hollowed wood so we can upgrade our farms. Lovely. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to upgrade that yet because a market square there would be probably more profitable straight away. Good. Uh, and now they are trying to run away. Can I reach? No, I can't. Didn't think so. In that case, let's stand there. And we're going to ambush stunts. Like so. And hopefully we'll catch that guy. If we don't, then I'll cry. Good. Like the motherland, our friendship endures. Uh, defensive alliance with Ostland as well. Yeah, sounds good. Nordland has started building an outpost in Prague. Which is fine, I guess. I mean, I propose Middenland, because I think that's... Uh, Actually, more um, uh, law appropriate. Uh, more car blood slatherer. What a name! What a name! So, uh, yeah, Darina Gatlin. Let's go fight demons. You know, as one does. As one does. Hello, you. Hi there. Hi there. So, uh, this is my land. I'm the queen, and um, I believe you're trespassing. Oh, you know you're trespassing. Well, that's very naughty. And here we are in the old blast. Trying to be dramatic. Uh, yeah, so, uh, doggos. Having a drink. Clearly. Clearly having a drink. Yeah, a bunch of chaos warriors of corn. Looking great. They just raised from the strongest of Northmen stock, but no longer human. Very cool. A lot of letters of corn. The lesser demon of corn is a behorned, blood hungry foot soldier. Sure is. We have the Herald of Corn. Driven to madness by its unending loss for slaughter, this legend insanely spurs the Blood Legion onto ever greater acts of destruction. Go do. So. Uh, we have. We have some sleds now. How great do these look? Berry is the answer to that. They're so cool. Really are awesome. And good bear. Good. Good bear. Uh, I love the tusks on them as well. They're more like a ramming, you know, thing. Very cool. Very cool indeed. So even the cruelest elements are no obstacle to the motherland's sturdy war sleds. Too right. Uh, so is everyone just going to charge in? Probably, right? Yes. In you go. In you go, prevail. lads. In you go. The happiness of all mankind yeah, penis. is the beauty of every Kislevite. Alright, go fight them. 
And uh, so these are dual swords, so they got anti-infantry. So they will be able to do some good work to the warhounds if the warhounds attack them. So don't have to worry too much about that. Mostly armoured Cossars in the front, but we do have a good anti-infantry as well. So that's good too. And we got some good debuffs. And I can summon a cat. I summon kit. Yes. Summon the kit. Okay, let's start spamming nonsense. Uh, first, let's debuff. And... Now, big old heart of winter. Uh, that's active now. Let's do some more spells. And Kablooey. <laughs> that is really obscene. Real obscene. Yeah, somehow, somehow they're still going. Yeah, yeah, you, you girls doing great. Uh, how's everyone doing over here? Yeah, pretty great. Pretty great. And we do have... Oh, actually, we don't have the magic for it. Never mind. I'm amazed that these blood letters are still going. I mean, now they're not so much, but, but they were. Alright, come on, guys. Got a bunch of battle cats. Battle kit. Bunch of war bears. Pretty great. Come on, lads. Come on. Come on. It's not like they were gonna, they're gonna do this much longer, right? So the war sleds, they got a bunch of stealthy in the back. So they've all got handguns, they're all blasting away as you go. But. They're also great in uh, in melee as well. It's like any chariot, anti infantry. Yeah, anti armor because friggin' bears. Like, it's really good. I really like the war sleds. They're really fun. And they leave this like snow as they travel. It's so cool. They're a really cool unit. Not a character. Not a character indeed. I love them a lot. Besides the victory. Marvelous. So play of experience, a bunch of money. Love that we got a bunch of money. Uh, and then, let's do replenishment. I need to make sure these guys stay in good shape. I also need to close this rift. So, uh, let's move over here too. We'll have to kill them on the way back, I suppose. Uh, I'm gonna close the rift. And this one I am just gonna watch I like, I like fighting things I haven't fought in a while, but doesn't mean we're gonna fight every battle. Uh, so, once again, I'm gonna go for money. Because we have Soddle Replenishment anyway, right now, so we are going to garrison for a turn, so it'll be fine. Or we could just head to Hell, and that might work out better. Anyway, Assault Expert. Even the sturdiest of defenses would struggle to withstand this warrior's attack. And we killed Jaw Thurster, we got a Dragon Helm, we got a Vodka Distiller, a Kislevite Gossard, a Hedge Wizard, a Bailiff, a Vodka Distiller. We got quite a few bits and bobs there, didn't we? We sure did. Bits and bobs. Uh, next up, yeah, we're gonna start doing best of court. There we go. That's done now. So all of our ice guard are very good now. 55 melee defense, 53 melee attack, and they've got anti-infantry of nine. So yeah, real, real good. All right, now you. Uh, any hand weapons for you? No, there aren't. Well, um, oh, I thought, I, for some reason, I thought we had a Brass Cleaver, because Gujevich is the one that got a Brass Cleaver. I think, was it last episode, or the episode before? And I was like, ooh, a Brass Cleaver, that'll be good. And I went to equip it, and it's already equipped. I went, oh, we've already got one. No, it just equipped the one that we talked about. It just didn't seem to display that it was equipping on him, but I'm sure I've got comments about it. Anyway, um... Yeah, that'll do. Whatever. Immortality. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. So now we need to choose this nonsense. So what are we going to go with? Um, scholar? A rubbish scholar. I mean, boost income up by more would be nice. Oh, that's quite good, though. So ambush defense chance way up, as well as campaign line of sight up by 10%, and magic item drop chance increased by additional 5%. Magistrate gives us an extra 2% income, and construction cost goes down, but if we're travelling quite a bit, that might not be the best thing in the world. Um, 
extra research rate, just extra damage, you know, extra melee attack and weapon strength for her is pretty good, actually, because we are throwing all of our bears into combat, so that would actually be very useful for us. I think I will do that. I think she's going to be Champion of the Ice Guard. It makes sense the Champion of the Ice Guard would be hanging out with uh, Zardina Catherine. I can't remember who the Champion of the Ice Guard actually is at the moment, but it is a woman. Uh, it is a woman. It's the daughter of the previous uh, Champion of the Ice Guard. So, yeah. Well, actually, actually, I might be getting that wrong. It might not be the Champion of the Ice Guard. Specifically. It might be like the... I, I, it's some champion. I know champion is the title, but I don't know if it's of the Ice Guard. Um, because the Ice Guard are all women, right? So the champion of the Ice Guard would have to be a woman. But no, because it was the guy's... It's the girl's dad who was the previous champion. So I think there's a champion of the Ice Guard and there's a champion of the, the Tsar Court or whatever. Um, the Boca Palace or something. But, you know, something like that. So yes, I'm not sure who the champion of the Ice Guard is. But I guess now it's Evelina Bebchuk. So, let's have a look at Konstantin Kieprevlov. Kieprevlov. Uh, that's, that means eat, pray, love in, in Russian. It doesn't, I'm kidding. Uh, One a famous, famous the book. Kieprevlov. <laughs> Kieprevlov. Uh, right, let's build this up now, because I want to get heavy war sleds. It's, it's, I kind of feel a bit sad that, like, because it is a bit of a direct upgrade, as soon as we get that, we're probably just going to get heavy war sleds every time. Even though the extra speed of the light war sleds is kind of cool. Oh, it is upkeep change though as well, obviously. It's like a lot more for the heavy war sleds. So you're really paying for the upgrade. But anyway. Alright, you're good where you are. Uh, we got, I mean, plenty of opportunities to upgrade stuff again. So let's do the hollows. Let's do the farmstead. Let's do the merchant traders. And that's it. That's it. That's all the things. Uh, ten more turns and we can get to tier five. That's pretty good. I'll take it. I'll take it. You know, eventually. Oh! Oh, and you got spotted, did you? No, you didn't. That guy just didn't move. Which is good, because now we can reach him. Uh, close to victory. Do we fight a bunch of mammoths? I feel like we should, because it's a bunch of mammoths. So, I think what we're going to do is next episode, we're going to start with uh, with this battle. And then hopefully we can get to hell and start doing hell stuff. You know, good old hell stuff. So guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.